Good morning, friends. I've got my coffee. I got my breakfast sandwich. If y'all have never tried the, um, what is it called? Double, I think it's called double smoked, like bacon, egg, and cheddar sandwich from Starbucks. It is amazing. I have become like so addicted to it. Um, but anyways, I just got to TJ Maxx. Surprise, surprise. Um, but I bought these two scrolls. I'll insert a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. But I bought them yesterday and I brought them home and Bunky was like, that is not going to look good. And I was trying to convince him that it would. But I held them up against the wall and they completely blended in. They're like the same color. Um, so anyways, I'm taking them back today. And then I'm also taking back my picture that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'll insert a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you're going to be shocked because I was so in love with this picture. But the more I looked at it, I was like, you know what? It still reminds me of something that like would be in like my early 20s or something. Like I love it. I think it's beautiful. Or if I had like a beach home, I think it'll be so pretty. But I'm trying to make my house more, you know, mature. So anyways, I'm going to take it back. Hopefully find some cute home decor. It's actually supposed to snow today. So I'm trying to beat the snow. It's supposed to start about 1 o'clock and it's about 1030 now. So I'm going to head into TJ's. I got to go into Hobby Lobby. And then whenever we get home, um, I have got just all kinds of things to do around our house. I need to get um, some chicken and some marinade for our dinner tonight, do some cleaning, all kinds of stuff. So anyways, I figure we could just spend the day together. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Be sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And if you guys are loving these days in the life, then be sure to give this one a thumbs up. But let's go get this returned and get all of our errands done. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I am going to go get my nails done today as well. I know you guys are rejoicing. I'm taking away my two painted thumbnails and I'm going to get them done. Finally, I need it y'all. So anyways, I have a lot to do and I got to get home before it starts snowing. Okay, so I made my return at TJ Maxx. So simple. Um, this is the Hobby Lobby and the temperature is only 45 degrees right now. Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> but I can see like little sleet hitting the car. So it is coming. I'm trying to hurry and finish eating my um, little sandwich. I was going to tell y'all, it's so funny. Bunky's so good. He's so good. Um, I've been seeing all these little, like, I guess, I don't know what you call them, like pill and stick, like fake tiles. They're in the Target dollar section. And I've been seeing all these pictures on Instagram of people, like, using them for, like, different home projects or to, like, redo RVs. But I saw someone use them as a backsplash in their kitchen and it looks so good. But it's just like stickers, but they look like really authentic. And um, I sent Bunky a picture. I was like, can we please do this? It'll be so cheap. And he was like, Bunky, you can't be cheap about everything. Like if we're gonna do it, we need to do it well. And I just love that about him because I'm always like, how can we do this? Like, you know, the cheapest way possible. And like Bunky's the type of person where he doesn't spend money like often but when he does he like invests in something or he makes it like very nice you know um where i wish i was that way like i'll go spend like ten dollars every day on like 15 different things but i won't spend like fifty dollars on one thing um so anyways we balance each other out very well with that but anywho my friend tori actually sent me pictures last night sorry y'all i gotta eat I guess you call them like a tapestry, but it's like this huge picture it's kind of like the scrolls that i just took back and um they're so much prettier so i'm going to go into hobby lobby and see if i can't find those and when i return that i might get those i don't know i just like started like googling and pinteresting and looking at all of these like interior designers last night of like their homes because for me like i can't see the bigger picture so it's like hard for me to decorate even though all of you guys always like compliment me so thank you because i feel like i'm the worst in, like decorator ever um so anyways, I'm just rambling. Let me run in there.
Okay, so I just walked in the door. I got my nails done. They look so good. I will put the color down below in the description box. I can't even like, pronounce the first word, so I will link it down below for you guys. Um, but they are amazing, and it feels so nice to have them all painted. So no more one thumbnail. I know some of you love it. I'm sure I'll bring it back eventually. But anyways, I just walked in the door, so I'm going to go ahead and put everything down. Um, I do want to show you guys obviously what I got at Hobby Lobby. I actually saw another one of my friends in there and she's really good at like decorating as well. And I almost didn't buy the scroll, like the thing that I went in there to get. I was like, I don't know. And then whenever I showed it to her, she was like, oh my gosh, I did not even know Hobby Lobby had these. I don't think anybody did because the way they were like rolled up, you really couldn't see them. Um, and then when I showed it to her, she was like, Jessica, that is so you. It's going to fit your house perfect. I was like, okay. So I got it. I got some like twine to um put like in the little holes i'll show you guys so that we can hang it up but i'm gonna have to like lay it flat so that it will obviously flatten out and put some books on top of it because right now it's been rolled and you guys know what i'm trying to say anyways also whenever bunky and i were at the beach i picked up a few things at that hobby lobby and tj maxx that i thought i would show you as well and then after I show you those things i'm gonna do some cleaning because our kitchen is kind of a mess and um it just started sleeting. It was like bouncing off of my car. So hopefully the snow is coming anytime now. And I feel like I want to just have like a good old snow day where I don't leave the house and I just get a lot of stuff done. Like I need to be very productive today. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got and then we'll do some cleaning. Oh, I got to marinate the chicken too for tonight. So um, we'll do that as well. But let me show you what I got. So I feel like this is kind of the only way I can show it to you. It is so big. It's absolutely massive. I just have my coasters on each corner just to kind of hold it in place. But after I show you guys, I'm going to flip it over and then probably put some books on top of it. Um, but I think that it is so beautiful. You guys know it is totally me. It's kind of vintage. It has this very pale blue. I don't think you can really see it, but it's like super pale. And it kind of matches our like oversized um, love seat in our living room. And of course, I love this green. You guys know I'm all about that. And then these beautiful flowers. Like to me, I can leave this up definitely for like spring and summer. I just think that it is gorgeous. I want to say it was like $27. So for something this big, I didn't think it was that bad. And then this is what I was going to show you guys. So you can see each corner has like um, these little holes here. So I got some like thicker twine. And I am just going to um, tie like really pretty little knots on each side and then kind of bring it across and then that's what i'll hang it by i think it's going to be really pretty it's going to go on this wall right here that mirror is not supposed to be there so it'll hang there and then i'm thinking i'm going to get something to go on each side of it so i'm really really excited to kind of do this wall because i feel like once i do it'll kind of bring the rest of our living room together and complete it so Anyways, that is what I got at Hobby Lobby. So I think I've told y'all that we don't really go like all out for like spring and Easter decor. I'm really trying to just nail down our like normal decor in our house right now. So I don't go too crazy, but I did buy a lot of cute things last year. So I feel like I have, you know, enough stuff to work with. But of course, whenever you're like in stores shopping, it's just so cute and like so colorful and bright and fun and it just makes you happy. So of course I picked up a few more things for this year. But what I got is probably all that I'm going to get as far as spring and Easter decor goes um, because I feel like I have enough. And like I said, I don't go like all out for it. So anyways, I'm going to show y'all what I picked up at the beach. I did Hobby Lobby and then um, TJ Maxx. So let me flip you around and show you that. And then we're going to get to cleaning, marinate this chicken and all of that good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby. I found this little bunny and I was like, I have to have him. I just think that he is the cutest little thing. I love the pink in the ears. It's like super subtle, but it's there. And then of course the buffalo plaid I just think is adorable, especially with a little burlap bow. And this was $11.99 and then of course 40% off. And I love the little cottontail. It's so cute. So I definitely picked up him. I'll probably use this bunny in our living room. I'm not going to do too many things in there of course, but I thought he would be cute sitting on like our coffee table in our little tray just to kind of give it a little bit of Easter, Easterness. 
springness, whatever you want to call it, decor in there. And then next up at Hobby Lobby is this adorable little plate. I just thought that this was absolutely precious and I could use it somewhere in our kitchen and I'll just kind of sit it up like this to display it. But I was like, I have to have this. It's so farmhousey. I love the little truck, all of the carrots. I think it's just so cute. Um, and this was $7.99 with 40% off. I may even try and use this on our shelf in our kitchen if I can get it to like stand up over there. But I thought this was precious. Okay, so that is it for Hobby Lobby. Next up is TJ Maxx. And I found this little Ray Dunn sign and it literally just made me smile. So I was like, I have to take this home with me. You guys know I'm constantly saying like, happy Monday or happy snow day or whatever it is. Like I love using that term just because I feel happy and I want others to feel that way too. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. And this yellow is just like literally perfect. I think it'll be great in our kitchen just to kind of give it a pop of color or even in our sunroom, but I could not leave the store without it. This was $9.99, which I didn't think was a bad price. Okay, and I totally did not mean <laughs> to get two things that said the exact same thing, but of course I loved this Ray Dunn little Easter egg, and y'all, this pink gingham just literally, I love it. Like, I love it. I think it's so girly, so beautiful, perfect for Easter and spring, so of course I had to have it. So I will put those two things probably in opposite rooms just so it doesn't say happy spring in the same room twice, but I loved this. Um, of course, it's Ray Dunn, and it was $14.99, but how cute is this? And then the last thing that I got is just this little, like, blue and white. I don't know what you call this planter with like a little saucer attached. It was $3.99 and you guys know I'm doing our um, sunroom in this blue and white and I just love it. I think it's so like classic and beautiful. So I really got it so that I could put like some greenery in here. I'm probably going to actually put like a live plant in there. I think that would be really cool. Maybe even something that's like a little bit viney. So I will um, use this just to kind of decorate in that room. But I thought it was really pretty and super inexpensive. So that is all of the stuff that I got while you're at the beach. Okay, so before we get started cleaning, I wanted to show you guys two cleaning products that I have just become completely obsessed with. You guys have probably seen me talk about this over on Instagram, but um, when we were at the beach, Bunky's mom had actually gotten this. We were using it down there. If you guys haven't seen it, it's this Dawn Power Wash. It has this like spray nozzle, and basically you spray it on like pots and pans, you can use it for anything obviously, but like pots and pans that have like grease or are like hard sticky food or whatever, and it starts breaking down immediately and then literally just like dissolves all the grease and wash it away. It is so good and so powerful. I am obsessed with this thing. So um, I have been loving it. I got this one from Target. I think it was like five bucks. I actually didn't realize I got this apple scent, um, but I ended up really loving it. It's like very fresh. So anyways, I love that. And then I don't if you guys saw me pick this up but the last time I was in Trader Joe's I found this multi-purpose cleaner it's cedarwood and sage and so many of you have seen me use my um actually let me go grab it hang on so you see me use my caldrea and it's the basil blue sage and i love it a lot of you have gotten it too and you guys know it smells so good but it's very expensive it's like ten dollars a bottle and you can really only get it off grove collaborative i'm not saying i won't ever buy this again because i love it. it's a really good like countertop spray but this one was 2.99 and it's it also has that sage smell to it so it smells really good very fresh um and we have been using it for a couple of weeks and love it so those are like my two favorite new cleaning products but let's go ahead and get all of these dishes put in the dishwasher and first i have to unload this bad boy
So I don't think I ever ended up telling y'all, but about a week ago, I decided to organize these cabinets underneath our island. Y'all, I should have shown you the before. They were such a hodgepodge, hot mess. You would not believe it. But I ended up like organizing it and putting other things in there that just made way more sense. And ever since I've done that, we've actually kept up with it. I think when you actually organize a space in your house and you love the way it feels, you're more inclined to like keep it up. So, so far so good, but next up is the other side of the island. That's an even bigger mess. I don't think there is a better marinade for chicken than Italian dressing. Are y'all with me? It just gives it so much flavor and especially like in the summertime when it's warmer outside, there is nothing I like better than a piece of grilled chicken that has been marinating in some Italian dressing and the longer that it marinates, the better. Okay, so this may be my new favorite way to wipe down my countertops. I use Dawn dish detergent like soapy water to wipe them down pretty often, but this spray bottle just makes it so much easier. And I'm telling you, our countertops have never felt so clean. Even when Bucky got home, he was sitting there talking to me and he was like, wow, our countertops feel really good. I was like, I know they're so clean. So that stuff is amazing. Okay, so my battery was getting low. I let it charge for just a few minutes and kept cleaning up a few things. It is snowing now and it is so beautiful. Bunky actually left work about an hour early, so he's on his way home. That way he can beat any traffic and not have to worry about all the roadways and the snow because y'all know we live in the South and they don't like treat the roads. So all of you people who live like other places where it snows all the time, that is not the way <laughs> it goes around here. Like it snows and everything shuts down and everything becomes chaos. So anyways, he left work a little bit early. Um, when he gets home, of course, we're going to cook some dinner with you guys. But I want to tell you whenever, um, we were at the beach, I was just kind of like thinking about my channel and brainstorming and stuff. And I just kept thinking how like, I wanted to like be more for you guys and kind of just make content that's more like beneficial to you and more motivating and stuff like that. Um, so anyways, I've just been like brainstorming. I have all these ideas and I'm thinking next week I'm going to start trying to like incorporate more motivation into my videos. Of course, I'm going to keep the same content cooking and all that days in the life you know, just hanging out with you guys. I just want us to be able to be like best friends and hang out and have great conversation. And I want you guys to feel inspired whenever you like watch my videos. So anyways, I'm thinking I'm gonna start trying to incorporate more like inspiration into my videos, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm just rambling, but anyways, I just wanna tell you guys, I've been thinking about that. And I just wanna like make sure that like whatever I'm putting out to you guys, that you're loving it and that you walk away feeling inspired and all of that. So anywho, that's just a little tidbit of what's been going on in my brain for you guys. Um, but I just like, I cannot even tell you guys, I just love this channel. I love this like family that we've created. I keep thinking, by the way, we need to come up with like a name for all of our subscribers, like for all of you guys. Like I can't think of like a clever one. I wanna call it like Bunkies something, but I can't think of one. So if you guys have a good name for all the subscribers, then leave it down below in the comment section. I feel like we should have like a group name. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I was trying to think like 
I don't know. I feel like it's more me and Bunky, not just me. So it needs to be like something about the bunks. Bunks. I want to say bunk squad, but like I want it to rhyme. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think if you have a good creative idea. But anyways, I'm probably going to do a little bit more cleaning before Bunky gets here. And then start editing this video so I can get up for you guys tomorrow. And then um, we'll cook some dinner. I'm so excited about dinner. I know you guys have probably seen me make these so many times. But it's like my favorite chicken tenders. They're so easy. And they have the best flavor. They're my favorite. My mouth is like literally watering. Um, so we're going to have those. Probably just like some mashed potatoes and then um, some broccoli. So anyways, that's what we're having for dinner. We'll cook that in just a little bit. Um... I think that is all I got for you right now. I'm gonna go like vacuum the living room and all of that. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you know that I am obsessed with the show The Good Witch right now. I think I've actually told you guys a few times too, but it is so good I almost cannot even get anything done because I just want to keep watching it. So it's best if I just like put it on and then I can get some cleaning done. And y'all, how many dang toys can Daisy May have? I mean, seriously. She has so many toys and of course she has to have every single one of them out at all times. y'all are gonna come at me for using a Swiffer but I promise we actually steam mop our floors but at least once a week like in our main traffic areas I do go over it with a Swiffer just to make sure we're getting up any dirt and stuff and not tracking it through the rest of our house. It's time to start cooking. Hello Mr. B. Hello. Mark. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so I just have the chicken that I put in some Italian dressing earlier. I set that out, and then in this Ziploc bag, I just have some croutons and some Parmesan cheese. You can use whatever croutons you want, but I do love the ones that are flavored like garlic. So anyways, I have those two things in here, and then I'm just going to take this big rolling pin. You can use whatever you want to just kind of break all of these up and get them like really finely chopped, milled, beaten. Whatever word you need. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to... Pulverize. Gonna, thank you, monkey. And then I'm just going to um, take each little chicken tenderloin and then put it all in the bag. We'll shake it up and then put them on the pan. They are the simplest Delicious. chicken tenders and they're so good. But, monkey only will ever eat them if... They're not soggy? No, if oh. I marinate them first. Oh, yeah. That makes them way better. I've tried to just, like, take the chicken throw it in some Italian dressing and then immediately put it in there and Monkey says it's not as good. They're way better if you like actually let them sit but they are my favorite chicken tenders ever and my mom used to make them for me when I was a little girl. This is what I do. If you've had a bad day, you need to take out some aggression. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is your perfect meal. <laughs> okay, Bunky did mine like really finely. I like to leave them a little bit chunky just so they have some like texture to the chicken tenders, but you do them to whatever. Finely milled, whatever you want. You will like them better like this. <laughs> Trust. Okay, so with all this extra goodness in here, sometimes I like to just get my hands dirty and then I'll go in and just kind of like sprinkle it on top, give it some more crunch.
We're just gonna pop the chicken tenders into the oven. I have it set on 375, and they usually take like 20, 25 minutes um, to cook, but just until they're done or golden brown. And then um, we're gonna get started on the potatoes and the broccoli. For the broccoli, I'm just doing it the same way I always do, adding a little bit of olive oil and then of course some salt and pepper. And then I just had this seasoning on hand that's like a garlic and herb, so I thought that sounded good. So I did a few sprinkles of that on top as well. And then I just bake it in the oven, basically whatever temperature it's on. I try to do it at like 375 if I can. And usually it only takes about 10, maybe 12 minutes. One of my favorite dinners of all time. I'm so excited. Do these not look so good? They are amazing. And then for our potatoes, you guys know, anytime that we make the instant ones, we like to doctor them up. So we add a little bit of sour cream and Parmesan. They taste so good. And then of course our roasted broccoli. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to dig in. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I love you so very much. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me today. If you are enjoying these Day in the Life videos, then be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.